Good afternoon, everyone. So the new 2020 48.10.1 software was just released. I guess we would call this Beta 7. So that was just released, I don't know, maybe within an hour ago. I've been having this USB malfunction issue show up on the car. I actually unplugged everything that I have plugged in. So I have my, I have a, a Jetta USB hub. And then I also have my Samsung T5 SSD plugged in and then my wireless charging pad. That error message has been showing up ever since the software installed. I've never had that error before. I'm not having any problems with any of my components. So you can see it's still recording correctly, it's still charging, but that message keeps popping up. So that's, I guess we call that a new feature. <laughs> I mean, it's really a bug because I've never had that issue before. So that's one thing I've noticed. I looked through the entire UI. The only changes I noticed was this error message and the new autopilot button for the reporting is significantly smaller. That's literally the only UI changes that I've noticed. My little phone call button says ahoy, 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 ahoy. I guess I tapped it too many times at one point. So now it, it says that, <laughs> which is pretty funny. see if there's any driving changes. So we're driving from Madison Avenue area in Sacramento all the way to East Sacramento. So we'll go city highway back to city. We'll see how that whole drive goes because I've done this drive so many times with the software releases. It's a good test for me. And then eventually I'll go back into town and do the same route that I have set up. So I'm just going to initiate a lane change to come turn around these cars because this right turn, this right lane is always very congested in this area and it slows down a lot so it should change lanes back near the freeway on ramp. I wonder where it's going to... Oh, good. Okay, so something that my first little change I noticed, it wanted to change into the right-hand lane so you saw the signal turn on because we have a dual lane to the right up here, so we're going to have to move over at least one lane. And it canceled the turn signal, which I'm so happy about because you've seen my other videos where my turn signal just pretty much stays running, <laughs> sometimes up to a mile. The steering wheel is staying a lot more straight, so let's see what happens here. It should be wanting to switch over now. Yeah. That's great. So either lane here, left or... Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, the pathing, that was not right. I'm just going to snapshot that because it started to path. I could feel the car wanted to swerve a little bit. You saw the path actually show up to the left there. It didn't go, but it's something that needs to be noted as a issue. It, look at where it's pathing. It's driving over the yellow, the white line here. I mean, it's fine. I, I don't normally cross these lines when I'm driving through here. That's just kind of strange, but it's driving fine. So this is always a really good test. This is J Street exit coming off of Business 80. And this exit has always given FSD code challenges. It's uh, the very first build, it would just would fail. It wouldn't complete. The later builds actually started to complete, but gave me a warning. And sometimes it would actually turn into the incorrect lane and swerve pretty rapidly down here. So this is going to be a good, a good test to see how the performance is. It did select the wrong selected the wrong lane there, but at least it signaled to tell the driver behind me because there was a car behind me. Ideally, I would have liked... Oh my gosh! Oh, jeez! <laughs> what? It just like slammed on the brake there. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that was new. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, I would hope that it, it should have just veered left to keep left instead of veering to the right and then swerving left. I mean, at least it signaled the lane change, but there was a car pretty close behind us. 
and then it braked. I don't know what it was reacting to. Maybe it was reacting to the light that was on the carpool ramp that was kind of in view. But the car started to stop right in the center of the on, the middle of the on ramp, off ramp. Yeah, it's it's really not liking this still. Now, it did work. I mean, this time it didn't give me an error message, and it didn't fail. But it wasn't the best. You know, it's still pretty rough. But it 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 was a lot better. There was no cars around us. I did report that because it still wasn't very natural. I don't know what those phantom objects were. It was like detecting people. There was no people on the road. So this is where I had a lot of issues right down J Street, either turning on the turn signal, uh, kind of like bouncing off of all the parked cars. So we're going to test the lane centering logic here. Interesting. It's flashing purple here. Those are actually leaves in the middle of the road. Cool. So now it, it turned red. Move over, move over. <laughs> it moved. So it turned red for that car that was actually in the merging lane and it let the car in, which is great. It, it was actually kind of being not very kind about merging cars in, in the last couple of builds. It would accelerate up and fill in the gap without kind of recognizing that the car needed to merge. And it actually recognized that merging car there, which was good. It's different than the last build. So far, it's not bouncing around. Notice my steering wheel's not bouncing. Let's see if it does it up here. Still kind of doing it. So this kind of reminds me of the autopilot on the highway. It, it still does lane centering now in with the autopilot, but it's gradual. And you notice it's not going boom, 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 like swerving the wheel. It's gradual now. I can tolerate this. I still don't think it should be centering, but at least they like smoothed out that, that centering logic. Because notice my steering wheel is not like aggressively swerving. It's just like gradually kind of centering. And I'm totally okay with that because before it was just like really aggressively. It was, it was in my opinion, swerving that, it, you know, because it was very aggressive. This is gradual and I can tolerate this. I mean, I still don't like that it's centering, but this is a lot more manageable to me as a driver and a, a someone in the, my car, because it, it, it's a really unnerving feeling, feeling the car just going like back and forth. So this is actually, I, I can tolerate this. As you notice, I haven't even pushed the report button. <laughs> Let's see if it turns on the turn signal up here. It's always struggled. I've had to disengage. Here we go again. Now, it did cancel the signal, which is good, but it shouldn't be throwing it on here. So I am going to keep reporting this until they fix this fully. And uh, it's going to do it again. Let's see if it cancels. It's always, yeah, I, you know, I'm going to keep disengaging and keep reporting this because you know, this is going to be a problem for FSD. If they don't get this, this stuff fixed, the cars are going to be, you know, again, look, left turn, left turn. We're making a right-hand turn up here. Then there's no reason for any of that. So, you know, I have to actually disengage FSD a lot in my neighborhood. I mean, I'm, I'm talking 100% of the time because it always, it always turns on the turn signals every direction I come into my neighborhood, every time, no matter Folsom Boulevard, M Street, J Street, any of the main streets over here, it always flips on the turn signal and literally wants to turn onto one of these side streets for, I don't even know why. So I have to disengage every time and that's really bothering me, but it's not bouncing. Look at, see the steering wheel? It's not like swerving me around the road. Like, this is a lot better for me, so far. Let's see how it handles this. Park cars, dog, pedestrian. 
It reacted to the dog. Interesting. <laughs> the dog kind of like turned to the left and I saw the wheel kind of move over, but it, it's not like making me feel uncomfortable like it, like it was in the last few builds. Like the, the steering maneuvers were very dramatic. Okay. That was pretty good.